What's up, Geeks and Gamers? Mike and I are back, and today we are reviewing the film Cocaine Bear that came out this weekend, which is about a bunch of random people that no one gives a crap about, and a bear that occasionally shows up, does cocaine, and slaughters people, and that's that's basically the, the plot of the film. Um, so, I mean, <laughs> I... It, I... <laughs> So this might actually be a film, one of the first films that we've done, where Mike and I might have a little bit of disagreement about some things about this film. I know that Mike absolutely just despised everything about this film, which is understandable. I There there were things that I, I kind of liked about the film. Um, there were things that, that I found enjoyable. I enjoy films that just go completely just off the wall in, in you know, whatever way it is. And uh, in some ways, this film satisfied that for me but man this film wasn't really a a cocaine bear film it was more of like people in a wildlife park uh hanging out and trying to find cocaine and yeah. there's there's just it wasn't even necessarily about that you had a bunch of just weird people with all these weird little like subplots of things that they're doing and it just didn't make any sense whatsoever I didn't care about really anybody in this film, to be honest, except for maybe the kids. Like, the kids were probably the only people that I was like, okay, yeah, you know, it's whatever. They're, they're at least, they're, <laughs> surprisingly, the kids were actually the, the most uh, entertaining people to watch on screen in a lot of ways. But, uh, but yeah, Mike, what, what are your thoughts about Cocaine Bear? Dude, this movie's ass. <laughs> like, you, I was kind of, I was excited about the premise because you're just, it's... It feels yeah. pretty easy. Yeah. A bear does cocaine and goes on a murder rampage. Yeah. I'm all for that. But like yeah. there's just there's no build up to the bear showing up. They don't even no. show the bear do the cocaine until like 45 minutes into the movie because it's already high in cocaine when it first yeah. shows up. Yeah, you don't even see it do it for the first time, you know? Like No. That should nothing be like a to special see like, moment, you know, to see see the bear do it for the first time. A plot set up or anything? No, it's yeah. just like these spoilers i mean but not really people like in the beginning of the movie they see the bear and they're like oh look it's a bear and the bear's acting kind of weird and then it just like murders one of them yeah and you're like oh okay i guess we're already doing the movie but like yeah th there are in this movie there are let's see two kids let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 different characters in this Jeez. movie. And the, the movie tries to give every single one of them some kind of minor plot, like storyline. Mm -hmm. And it has to explain where they're at and all this stuff. And I think they were trying to go for like setup and payoff, but it never really does. No. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's ridiculous. And like, it just, it's so tonally like, whiplash it's like a tonal whiplash all the time like one moment it's like this oh this is scary there's like a bear on cocaine killing people and you think okay maybe it's a horror movie with comedic elements no because then the next moment it tries to be like this slapstick comedy mm -hmm. and then like you're like okay so this is supposed to be funny but like i thought we were supposed to be scared and they're like no 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 you're supposed to be scared when we tell you you're scared because the music tells you you're supposed to be scared. Then the music, like, like they might as well just play, like, circus music at some points in this movie. Because they're trying so hard to be like, isn't this funny? Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. one of the biggest jokes in the movie is the bear falls asleep on top of a person. <laughs> and, and it goes yeah. on for so long. And you're like, what yeah. is going on right now? I mean, and the other thing is, too, I was like, okay, whatever then maybe at least it's going to be one of those movies where you get to watch the bear murder people and you're like, oh, this is at least really satisfying watching it do that. It kills yeah. almost everyone off screen. And yeah. two yeah. of the most brutal deaths in the movie aren't because of the bear. It's like, it's because of something else that happens. Mm -hmm. I mean, the mm -hmm. bear's involved in that happening, but it's, it's not the bear that does it. And I was like, mm -hmm. Instead of watching a bear murder people, it just like drags people off screen, and then like you'll see like a arm or a leg fall on the camera. And mm -hmm. You're like, what is happening? Yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, Elizabeth yeah. Banks really uh, probably oh, should man. stop directing movies because, uh, yeah, this was Are you a than Charlie's sexist, Angels. Mike? Is that yeah, why you're saying so. that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, apparently, if that's what I needed, that's what I need to say to get uh, Elizabeth Banks to stop doing movies. Yeah, yeah, because <laughs> it's it's so bad, and it just doesn't make any sense. Yeah. 
The editing's awful. The only thing that I maybe could give it a little bit is like, yeah, the kids could be funny, but the kids are barely in the movie. They're in it for like a mm -hmm. section. Yeah. And then you don't see them again for like a long time. Mm -hmm. And they don't wrap up the movie until the very end. And then they try to do this weird, the bear's not the villain, this other person's the villain, but it doesn't yeah. make any sense. Yeah, exactly. Because like, yeah. it's a bear on cocaine. It's that uh -huh. simple. Yeah, yeah they, they, try to give, they try to give the bear like some sort of like weird like sympathy type of thing and it's just like i i don't care i just want to see the bear kill people that's why I, yeah I and then like it. die from cocaine like <laughs> yeah, die from yeah. an overdose yeah exactly exactly yeah. like yeah that would have been that would have been a great way to to do that but no not at all um yeah i mean there was so many the thing is that when watching this film you can see how they could have done this in a way that the film could have been super great and entertaining yeah. like 100 you know, and and that is, I I do agree. I think that's one of this film's biggest weaknesses is that it doesn't know if it wants to be a comedy or like a slasher horror type thing or or what. It doesn't know what it, it's trying to do everything at the same time, and it doesn't work at all. And um, the tone is all over the place, and it's just it's just ridiculous. And um, you know, there there were a lot of missed opportunities with things that they could have done with this film that would have made it a hundred times more entertaining than what it yeah. actually was. So um, absolutely. Yeah, it was it was definitely a mess. Um, but you know, good job, Elizabeth Banks. You you really tried. You really tried. Um, she 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 basically what she, she was saying was she wanted to try to make. Well, she she said that she wanted to make a masculine film and prove that women could make masculine films. Um, Elizabeth Banks, I'm, I'm sorry to tell you this, but there have been a lot. A lot of other women that have succeeded at that way better than you did with this yeah. film. So, and also the bear's a girl. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yep. Oh man. Yep. So, um. So I mean, yeah. There you go, cocaine bear, everyone. Um. Yeah. Like it's not even worth going to see in theaters. It's just yeah. not. I already knew you were going to ask me that. Yeah. Because it's not, it's not, maybe if you see it in a bargain bin, you're like, hey man, I have nothing going on in my life and I'm real, I'm, I'm probably on some kind of substance, but I won't say what substance you're on, but probably has to do with the movie. Then maybe go see it. I will say, I, th I think that there, <laughs> this is probably the only redeeming thing about this film is that there are, um, there's like, there's probably like maybe oof maybe only like two deaths actually maybe three deaths that are actually like well done you know in the film yeah. there's there's one that's are... what's that oh yeah if you're talking there's... about the one i think you're yeah 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 there, there's one that's like that made me go ooh. <laughs> yeah. but besides that yeah it's it's definitely not worth it it reminds me kind of of mortal Kombat and how much of a failure that movie was with the fat fatalities in that film and stuff um but uh, but yeah. So so with that being said, you know I'm just gonna I'm gonna say also not worth seeing in theaters at all. Um, you know maybe catch it on a rental or something like that if you don't have anything else to watch. But there's like a thousand other things that you can watch that are way better than this. So yeah. So yeah. So with that being said, that's going to be our review for Cocaine Bear. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Let us know in the comments below if you have seen the film. What do you think about it? And make sure that you go check out the website, uh, geeksandgamers.com. And uh, we got some great stuff over there for premium members and all that stuff. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. And we'll catch you all in another video review very soon. Bye.